In this edition of your Wednesday Recalibrate, the topic is, where will you spend eternity? The scripture passage is Luke chapter 16, verses 19 to 31. There was a certain rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. But there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, full of sores, who was laid at his gate, desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. So it was that the beggar died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And being in torments in Hades, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom. Then he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am tormented in this flame. But Abraham said, Son, remember that in your lifetime you received your good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted, and you are tormented. And besides all this, between us and you, there is a great gulf fixed, so that those who want to pass from here to you cannot, nor can those from there pass to us. Then he said, I beg you therefore, Father, that you would send him to my father's house, for I have five brothers, that they may testify to them, lest they also come to this place of torment. Abraham said to him, They have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. And he said, No, Father Abraham. But if, I, if one goes to them from the dead, they will repent. But he said to them, If they do not hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though one rise from the dead. In this passage of Scripture, we see a number of interesting things. First of all, we see two men. We see a very rich man with no name given. And we see a very poor man, Lazarus. Secondly, we see two lifestyles. The rich man had everything he wanted and food enough and a luxurious lifestyle. The poor man was a beggar and had very little or nothing to eat. This was not unusual in Jesus' time. There were many poor people. It's also happening in the world in which we live today. In fact, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 26, verse 11, For you have the poor with you always. Mark, Luke, and John follow that up with similar words. Both men died. The rich man was buried, and Lazarus may have been dumped into a potter's field. Fourthly, we see a complete reversal of fate, of the fate of the two men. Lazarus was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man was in Hades, or in hell. He was in torments. Was Lazarus in what we call paradise because he was a poor, because he was poor and he was a beggar? Was the rich man in hell because he, he had riches and would not feed Lazarus? No on both counts. No one will ever enter into heaven unless that person has a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Being poor 
does not get you into heaven, and being rich does not exclude you from heaven. The rich man was not saved. The poor man was saved. Number five, do people still go to Abraham's bosom when they die? The answer to that is no. After Jesus rose from the dead, he cleared out what we know as Abraham's bosom or paradise. We see this in Ephesians chapter 4, verses 7 to 10. That is a study for another time. In the new dispensation, or after Christ's resurrection, we go directly to heaven when we die. The angels still come to get us. However, we, do, we go to be with Jesus, not Abraham's bosom. Paul says in Philippians chapter 2 and verse 21, For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. Good. Then two verses down, verse 23, For I am hard-pressed between the two, having a desire to depart to be with Christ, which is far better. The place of torment where the rich man was would not be his final destination. Revelation chapter 20 and verse 14 says, Then death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. Number five, there are several requests the rich man had. First of all, he asked for mercy, but it was too late. Hebrews 9 verse 27 says, and as it is appointed unto man once to die, but after this, the judgment. He asked for Lazarus to dip the tip of his finger in water to cool his tongue. There was, however, no passage from one place to the other, as recorded in verse 26. Hell is eternal. Thirdly, he wanted Lazarus to go to his brothers and warn them of the torment of hell. Verse 31 says, They will not be persuaded, though one rise from the dead. The gospel is preached today. If in this life you do not respond to the saving grace of God, it is forever too late. If you die without forgiveness of sin, there is no second chance. Today is the accepted time. Today is the day of salvation. You have gone to church all your life, possibly, but have never come to the realization that Jesus Christ died for you personally. You will not go to heaven when you die, or maybe the first time you have ever heard the gospel preached. I invite you to give your heart to Jesus Christ today and be sure of your eternal destiny. One of the worst things about hell is found in verse 25, where it says, Son, remember. There will be a memory in hell, and people will remember every time they heard the invitation to ask for forgiveness of sin. And they said, not today. Not today. If not today, then when? Unfortunately, that day may never come. May God bless these words to you from Luke chapter 16. God loves you, and he sent his son into this world to die for you. Let's pray. Our Father, we thank you for your word. I thank you for its clarity. I thank you for how it speaks to our hearts. And I pray that these few words might be a blessing to the hearts of many and that you will honor your word, bless and guide us throughout this day in your name. Amen.